Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. My name is D.A. King. I am here today as a private citizen. Um, uh, my intention is simply to offer some observations and maybe a little bit of basic education. I want to make it very clear. I hope that everybody in this building is as adamant as I am about allowing everyone who is eligible to vote in this state to vote in the elections to which they are eligible. I came today to simply point out how elections and voter rules and especially registration rules are conducted in other countries and I think it might be of some interest to this committee and I will use the <coughs> excuse me I will use the sovereign nation of Mexico to our south in Mexico when one wants to register to vote you must present a series of documents including a birth certificate when you are successful in registering, you are issued a federal voter ID. You may not vote in Mexico as a Mexican voter without presenting the Mexican voter ID. I have a blown up image of a Mexican voter ID uh, from a card we found in the desert about 25 feet north of the barbed wire fence that separates our nation from that of Mexico. And I'm holding it up, uh, up a blown up version of this to simply illustrate what can be done. I have no idea that we are going to make our voting system as secure or our registration system as secure as it is in Mexico. But I would like the committee to please respectfully note that on the Mexican voter ID that you cannot obtain without presenting again a series of documents including your birth certificate and proof of residence, there is a photograph what cannot be seen because of this blown up model is a hologram on the front. On the back there is a barcode. The potential voters and the registered voters fingerprint. A signature and a large series of numbers all of which mean something to the poll worker. And again I do this only to hope that when we are considering what rules to put in place for registering to vote here in the state of Georgia, that we will realize that we have a long way to go to even make it as secure a system as it is in Mexico. Because I study immigration and border security, I know how secure Mexico's voting system is and how successful they have been. This system that I just described in Mexico does not ever draw cries of somehow unfairness to any particular special interest group or, or, or foreign language speakers. Um, I would like to point out, I think I passed out a little, a little application from Blockbuster Video to everyone. I hope that got around. If you look right below, right below the top right hand corner, you'll see that to walk into a Blockbuster Video and obtain a account to rent a DVD, you have to present a military uh, military ID, a driver's license ID, or a state-issued ID, all of which can only be obtained by, again, presenting your birth certificate. Um, so I, I, to draw attention to that, sometimes when I do this presentation, I bring a blown-up copy of my Blockbuster video card. My hope is that you will vote yes on both of the bills discussing registration. I don't think we are going to make our system today as secure as it is in Mexico, but I would hope that we can take a step forward in making our voter registration as secure as is the blockbuster video account process.